Okay, I'm running. Uh, Paul, it's been the best part of two months since you came out of Durham, since you moved back to Glasgow. Um, did you have any reservations initially about moving back to the city? No, no, none whatsoever. Uh, there was a lot of speculation in the media uh, regarding the why I should return. And my whole attitude to that was, well, why shouldn't I? I mean, there was no embargo on me about returning back to Glasgow. And obviously there was a few situations to be resolved uh, legally as well as personally. And uh, I felt that it was in my best interest to come back to Glasgow. Uh, feel the scene and the recommendations were from uh, my common law wife Sandra and, and my son and her family. They wanted to move then, I'd have moved. The, the situation being, uh, my youngest boy Dean, who's got four months left, left in Nostra, and nothing can be done until that finishes. I'm also on license for seven months, so I've got a situation where on the seven month period, I should be maybe looking at moving to another area, uh, but it'll be closely connected to Glasgow, if not in central Scotland. How did you find it coming back to the city? You know, with, with, with so much of a, of a type of background in the city and, the sense, and so much of a history, how did you find it? Well, I think the type of, type of background has been created by, by media. Uh, the best person I know me is myself and my close family and friends. But when you've got a, a situation where uh, people who don't generally know the individual concerned and maybe end up moving next door to them, they obviously get genuine concerns because they don't know the real situation. But I had never had any great reservations about coming back to Glasgow. Glasgow's where I was born, and if I decide to move to Glasgow, it'll be for my own reasons, not for anyone else. You say this, this sort of media image, I mean, you know, you know the fact is, yeah. at one stage you were notorious, you yeah. were wanted for. Um, quite a few um, violent attacks at any one yeah. time. You did face uh, yeah. a murder charge. Yeah. You have just served um, a sentence for burning guns. I mean, yeah. let's face it, yeah. it's not what your average, average um, Glasgow citizen is known for. That, that, that is absolutely correct. That was something I engaged in willingly. Uh, the fortunate aspect of it is I've got to, uh, four or eight months to think about a situation where I've got myself involved in. And during that, period in time, uh, I've reflected back on quite a lot of issues and to me there is no other option other than to endeavour on a different avenue. I've been given uh, a very good uh, start by uh, mainstream uh, publication and of course in conjunction with my co-author Wes Mackay to embark on a new line of uh, work that could generate X amount of finances. And it's an avenue that I'm, I currently enjoy. If I never enjoyed it, I wouldn't do it. So it's uh, an avenue for me to explore personally. And the minute I stop enjoying it, then I'll stop doing it.